Hi there, it's Dorleen, and today I'm working on some Valentine's Day cards. I'm really thinking more of the background of some cards. So what I'm starting off with is just a simple heart stamp. So I put that on my little acrylic block. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing generational stamping. And what that means is, well, I'll give you an example over here on the side. So when you first ink it and when you first stamp, that would be the first generation. And then without re-inking, you stamp again, that's second generation, third, fourth, and so on. Uh, you can kind of get a fifth out of that, but pretty much four. I cut each of my panels, which is the typical card front, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Let's try six. Well, that shows you how juicy that is because you do get a little bit of a, an impression on that sixth one. So I'm just going to go um, from the left to the right and do pretty much the exact same thing. So you notice I'm not measuring because I just want this to be very casual. But it's going to be the same thing. Just one right underneath each other. Oh, that's so fun. You can tell it's off. But like I said, this is just really for the background. This time I'm going to go from left to right instead of up and down as far as the stamped images. So again, I'm not really measuring. I'm just, I am doing that stamp off there. I think that might add a little interest. And that is in by no ways straight. I'm going to try to do this one a little bit straighter. I mean, I like quirky, but that's a little too quirky. Okay, so I cleaned out the red, and now I'm going to try this Rich Razzleberry, which is also from Stamping Up. And this time, let's see, we've done up, we've done across. Maybe I'll just kind of scatter here and there. Ooh, I like the way that looks. And you see how I'm just, I'm not really paying too much attention on where I'm putting which color or which generation that we talked about, but that still looks really pretty. I don't want to stamp too much on top of each other, but I can do a little bit, especially when we get to the lighter generations. All right, I like that. And I'm going to use this cotton candy by Close to My Heart. Um, let's see. So we did up, we did across, we did all over. How about... Yeah, this is definitely not as juicy as like the red and the razzleberry. But it still gives three generations and I like that. So I'm going to do a couple of lines alternating. Okay, I'm going to actually fill the whole card with this. Here's a look again at what we did. So this one was a little alternating pattern way off but I don't know what happened but it's okay because like I said I'm planning on using these for backgrounds for cards this one was just a, a splattering of hearts using that razzleberry and there we go for that this one same things and I notice how this one is not straight either but I'm okay with the way this one turned out oops I don't know what that is so now let's make some cards you can see there, I mentioned the red ink is very juicy, so I must have had some on my fingers. So what I did is I cut a really thin strip of the black, and I'm just going to cover it. Okay, 
And I have this cute little gnome that I made. I'm going to put that on there and then I'll put a sentiment. I'm going to use some three dimensional tape for that. super cute so I need to put a sentiment I might do them on strips and do them here kind of debating so I'm thinking gonna finish about that more bit. cards and zip through them and at the end I'm going to show you in a real-time motion so you can see the completed cards but basically I'm going to be doing the same type of thing using these backgrounds that we created putting some sort of die cut or focal image with sentiment and then of course put them on a card base. Hopefully you like this video and if you do please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already hit that subscribe button below. You can also hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified of my new videos. I do post at least one video a week.